guys, what's up? Uh, welcome to the channel. I'm Mike, and I'm going to talk to you about my journey to becoming a software engineer. So, uh, why software? Uh, software engineer, uh, full stack web developer, whatever you want to call it, why? Uh, is probably about a year and a half, maybe two years ago, I, uh, I actually watched this video from the tech lead, and I think it was titled something along the lines of the top 10 things I hate about working at Google. And, you know, you'd think, you know, Google would be the end all be all for, for a software engineer. Everybody has different preferences. I mean, I know personally me, I think I would really enjoy that type of environment and that sort of progressive uh, direction towards technology and innovation. Um, but it was probably about a year and a half ago that I watched his video and you know he was talking about being a software engineer at Google and and his experience there and to me he was cracking me up and you know you could just tell he's just kind of a kind of a genius who you could say uh could be a little edgy sometimes with some of the things that he says but um kind of a genius in a sense just talking about you know things that you wouldn't interpret life to be like in certain certain ways uh, but anyways he was cracking me up and, and I was thinking to myself geez I would love to work with somebody like this uh, you know a group of people like this you know and then uh, I kind of further dove into it because I, I related to him I could really feel a, feel a relation um, I, I could relate to him in a sense that I think I could thrive in an environment like that uh, but anyways, he was cracking me up on his video talking about, you know, it's, it's, it's cruddy that, uh, you know, the, the food courts, they're always open and, and it's all free food and blah, 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 this and that. But, um, but I'm sure there's a lot of, uh, lot of politics that go into big tech companies like that. And uh, there's always different environments for, for any type of job you have. And I understand that. But like I said, I, you know, after watching him, it, it really made me think that being a software engineer was possible. He just seemed like a regular guy. You know, you study hard and you put your head in the books and you apply yourself. You can do it. I think anybody can do it. Um, so, so after uh, I had watched him, I kind of went a little bit further and I kind of dove into the, uh, the career paths of software engineers and and I kind of landed at full stack web development and I, and that was that was my direction that I was going to take uh, in an attempt to become a, a full stack web developer, uh, become a software engineer. I think to be, become a well-rounded software engineer, I think web development was a good way to break in. Um, for me, uh, I watched hundreds of videos on tutorials and hundreds of videos on, you know, Clem Mihailescu and, and all these people, Stefan Mashuk and, and uh, Ryan Hawks or Chris Hawks maybe, uh, and all these people who were giving their experiences uh, or sharing their experiences and giving their opinions on what the field is like and you know different directions you can take with different technologies and what the technologies do. And uh, it was really interesting. I, I, I head first. Uh, not head first JavaScript, but head first into the uh, the community. I fell in love. I fell in love, and I really had a passion for technology and what it can do for the world. You know, you talk about Elon Musk and all the things that he's doing in a progressive manner. But anyways, I don't want to get off too off topic. I've already done that enough. Um. So how did I do it? Uh, how was I doing it? Well, first I uh, I did you know throughout my research. I found, you know, throughout the research of all the watching all these videos, I found that, um, you know, Free Code Camp was a good resource, and I recommend that to anybody who's just starting out. Uh, Free Code Camp was a good resource for jumping into code and kind of messing with HTML and CSS and just getting a, a layout of a of a, a standard web page and and seeing the skeleton of of what it's going to look like and then adding some style to it. Uh, you know CSS cascading style sheets and then you can get into bootstrap and then you can get into SAS and then you know JavaScript and you get into react and that's like that's that's further down uh, the road but for me 
I think uh, I think it's all a process, and I think the most important thing is to have fun during the process. So it was a lot. It was a lot to take in. So I think the learning style of freecodecamp.org was really difficult for me because it wasn't it wasn't fun. I am more of a visual learner instead of okay. Let me take that back. Um, Free Code Camp is, is visual, but compared to the boot camp web course that I'm doing now, it's not as interactive, I guess. It was just kind of like a code along. And for me, that was a little difficult, uh, not putting into perspective how you can apply it in real world, how it makes sense in real world, and how you would be using this in your day to day. So, um, I started with Free Code Camp, and then you know I, I knew this is what I wanted to do. Uh, right now, I'm I'm enrolled, finishing my my bachelor's degree in computer science, and I knew this is what I wanted to do, and so I went head first. Uh, my goal was to get a job during school, and that's still the goal is to to get a job. I'm personally not ready yet with where I'm at in the boot camp that I'm taking, but. Uh, I know I will be, and I know when I will be, I don't think it'll be that hard to apply for jobs with a good enough portfolio. Um, with the uh, the free code camp tutorials, it was just too code along for me. I wasn't applying it in a way that was personal, and I don't think I could learn uh, how to apply it in the real world. I could. I did learn a lot from it, but I just don't think that style of learning was for me. For other people, it might be excellent. It could be the best style of learning there is for you, but everybody's different. So I did a couple of YouTube tutorials after that, and then uh, what I ended up doing is I, you know, I heard from a buddy of mine who did a boot camp, uh, full stack web development, uh, focusing on the MERN stack with uh, the library React. I'm pretty sure it's library React of, of JavaScript. And uh, so he got a, he got a job and he was teaching for a while and that was that was really inspirational for me because I knew that this is what I wanted to do and to see him be able to do it and and put it into reality it really put it in perspective for me and showed that you know you can do this too this is this is you know everybody can do this this is not rocket science but it's a lot to learn and anything is a lot to learn really when you really first look at it you know anything construction there's there's building codes and anything, anything you do, mechanic, uh, electrician, you know, whatever it is, a nurse. Uh, there's always a lot to learn, but I really enjoyed coding and uh, I had fun building, uh, building tech with technologies. So, wow, I really got off topic there. But anyways, uh, so then I realized the free code camp wasn't working for me and the YouTube tutorials weren't working for me, so I decided to buy a boot camp with uh, nearly, uh, I guess it was nearly identical to the curriculum that he had in his boot camp. And uh, this boot camp that I'm referring to is the complete 2020 web development boot camp uh, by Angela Yu on Udemy. And uh, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, I might put a link down in the description for you to find it. Um, highly recommend it and the reason why I highly recommend it is because it's fun it's fun it's interactive and I've learned a lot from it uh, you it, it focuses on react there's actually about eight hours of react uh, in that course so you'll get fairly familiar with react uh, if you're good at JavaScript and you really focus on the fundamentals um, so right now I'm just working on some of the the projects in the course and having fun with it along the way uh, the real, the real reason why I wanted to make this video is because I know what it's like uh, jumping in head first, not knowing much about the community and trying to learn all these concepts, these technologies, familiarize yourself with what they're used for, if this is used for uh, programming or if this is used for machine learning and data science and, and what what they would be best used for it's confusing it's confusing so for me I wanted to share a little bit of transparency into uh, what it's like for me uh, 
I highly recommend that if you wanted to get into code and you wanted to start with front-end web development, that's an excellent choice. Uh, the nice thing about Angela Yu's uh, bootcamp, her, her course for web development, is that it's full stack. So you go front to back, you can learn how to develop uh, the front end, the user interface, and, and what you see as a user when you click on a web page, and you, then you can learn how to connect it to the back end and deploy it. Um, learn how to deploy it to GitHub. You can deploy your personal site, your personal CV site to GitHub, and, and it teaches you a lot of basic fundamentals that you're going to use in your career as a software developer. Now, I know a lot of I watch a lot of these, these YouTubers talking about their experiences with courses and whatnot. And, uh, and they recommend other courses. Like I know Colt Steel has an excellent course on full stack web development. And I would never say anything negative about his course versus Angela Yu's course. Angela Yu's course is just the one that I used. Uh, that's the one that I, I picked initially uh, I, I think it had the best rating uh, on Udemy at the time when I bought it um, so that was that was my reasoning I mean logically to me if it has a better rating uh, I think that would make sense and I I, I think Colt Steel had jeez oh, you can't quote me on this but I think maybe 400,000 downloads at a 4.6 and Angela you had 80,000 downloads at a 4.7 I mean I don't know. I, Colt Steel's, I think, had been out longer, and Angela Yu's was updated. I don't know if Colt Steel's was updated. Uh, you can always check. You can always go take a look. But to me, I just I looked at the higher one, and, and I and I grabbed that one. I figure eighty thousand is enough. And in my perspective, I would assume that you know the four hundred thousand people who take Colt Steel's course are going to make projects based on how he teaches you software development. Uh, his style and so if there's 400,000 people out there developing portfolios based on his style versus 80,000 people developing portfolios based on Angela Yu's style I figured I would have better chances at employment with Angela Yu's style that's just me don't quote me <laughs> um, so I, I hope this video helps uh, I hope this video helps you you make your decision on which route you want to take from what I've learned and from what I've found in the career paths of software development, uh, the I think the best choice is to, to start with front end. Uh, if you're going to college, I think a lot of what I've heard uh, when you're in your, your majors courses is that those courses are, are primarily back end. And for the most part, unfortunately, most colleges use outdated technologies. So... The problem with going for a computer science degree is that you're probably going to be teaching yourself a lot of what you're going to need to learn to be market ready. And I hate to say it, but I mean, that's what I've heard and that's what I've found uh, in the community. But all the research is out there, so all the information is public and, and you can go and take a look yourself if you want to verify anything. And you know, if, if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. Uh, hopefully this video get some traction and hopefully it can help somebody because I know there was a lot of a lot of urgency to learn information about the different technologies and which route I should take I wasted a lot of time uh, playing around on free code camp when I should have known that that wasn't my style of learning but that is part of the learning curve that is part of the fun of becoming a developer and and learning to jump into the market uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, in the comment section below, I'll put a couple of links for a couple of freebies for you, some stocks from Robinhood and whatnot. There's always going to be a couple of links in my videos, so if you want to support my channel, uh, you can click on those links and, and grab yourself a, a couple of stocks or a couple of uh, affiliate links. Anyways, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed. I hope this can help you. Have a good one.